Hold on tight because we're going to come to a standstill. That's right. The earth will come to a halt for five seconds. How much harm would this abrupt halt cause? And what would you experience in different parts of the world? And will the earth still be habitable when it spins again? Hello and welcome to our channel, Curious Media, and here is what would happen if the earth stopped spinning for five seconds. Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Now, let's start with the video. Earth's Rotation In one day, the Earth completes one full rotation on its axis. This provides us with day and night. The Earth is spinning because of collisions that occurred during the planet's formation 4.6 billion years ago. Dust and rock grains clumped together as a massive disk of gas and dust swirled around the Sun, generating forces that kept the planet rotating in one direction. Imagine it spinning faster and faster, much like a figure skater. And with essentially no forces in space to slow us down, we continue to rotate and will do so for millions of years. But if the Earth came to a complete stop, would you fly off the surface? Strong winds and their implications. Even if the planet came to a halt, the atmosphere would continue to move. That is, even when everything has come to a halt, strong winds will continue to blow, and they would not be strong gusts. They would be far more powerful than any storm you've ever encountered. The strength of these winds would vary depending on where you were on the planet. The Earth rotates the quickest at or around the equator. Here, you've experienced wind speeds of 1670 km slash. Those winds would sweep you off your feet but forget about you. These winds would be powerful enough to rip the Earth's crust apart, so it wouldn't matter if you were in a field or a steel reinforced structure. These winds would completely destroy you. For instance, the strongest F5 tornadoes can reach speeds of up to 500 and 11 kilometers slash. And these storms have the potential to lift houses from their foundations, send cars flying, and even rip concrete structures apart. Winds from the Earth's emergency break would be three times as powerful. So if the crust beneath your feet didn't break, you and a lot of other stuff would probably fly a long way, but not off the face of the Earth. The escape velocity, or the speed required to leave Earth's gravitational pull and enter space, is around 40,000 kilometers slash. Winds would be slightly weaker in other places of the world, such as New Zealand or France. However, at 1180 km slash A, these would be significantly stronger than any storm ever. These winds would obliterate everything. They wouldn't be the only danger you'd have to watch out for in these five seconds. The spinning inner core of the Earth will lead to megavolcanoes. If the Earth stops spinning, keep in mind that the inner core of the Earth is spinning at a quicker rate. The fact that the Earth's surface has slowed does not imply that the core has slowed as well. Our extremely volcanic planet could erupt in unexpected ways. As the tectonic forces above and below clash, supervolcanoes are expected to erupt across the entire planet. In a tidally locked Earth, half of the planet would always face the Sun, while the other half would be in perpetual darkness. Our planet is currently in a Goldilocks stone, or habitable zone, where is the ideal distance from our sun? There may still be regions on Earth where the climate is tolerable enough to support life. But on the two extremes, life may struggle to live. Earth will be fried. The next thing that would likely happen is that the magnetic field of the Earth would stop regenerating and slowly decay over time. This is due to the fact that the Earth's magnetic field is generated by a dynamo effect involving its rotation. Our magnetic field is extremely important in maintaining the integrity of our atmosphere, and it also protects the Earth from cosmic rays. Without the magnetic field, our planet would be cooked. However, you will perish far sooner as a result of synonymous. The Earth will change into a sphere. Our Earth isn't a perfectly round sphere. Because of the centrifugal forces created by the planet's rotation, it bulges near the equator. If the Earth's rotation stops, it will swiftly turn into a perfect sphere. All of the water around the equator would flow away from the equator, causing a tremendous tsunami. That water would backtrack five seconds later when the globe resumed its full speed spin. Water would rush into everything and everyone. Twice. That's a monster storm. Perhaps the only safe area in this scenario is around the North or South Poles. The wind would be the mildest here. After all of this, you must be pleased to learn that the Earth has resumed its usual rotation. But, as I already stated, there would be nothing left on it. Every building, crow plant, and technology would be completely destroyed. The sheer force of being slammed by large gusts of wind would kill billions of people, if not everyone on the planet. 
What would this mean for humanity? We are an extremely adaptable species that appears to have survived previous disasters. Even with advanced technology, surviving on a planet that has stopped spinning and is tightly locked to the sun would be a significant task. So how would you approach these challenges? Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.